I think the real question here is, why don't you believe in Jesus Christ? What's up world? Paul Bell, back with another YouTube video. I know it's been a while. I think my last one was uh, March 14, 2020. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick update of what's going on in my life currently. Um, getting ready to start doing more YouTube videos. God has sent me help. Um, I got my nephew in the back recording for me, John Kier. You'll see his link right here. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram. Um, and I thank God for the other help God is sending me for editing. Andre, right here. Follow him on Instagram right there. And, you know, God is good and greatly to be praised, like I said. Um, doing big things this year. Big things are already in this whole coronavirus mess. I know people have lost their jobs and things. And I, I want God to bless people with, you know, income and jobs during this whole coronavirus mess. But my God's been good to me ever since it started. I didn't have a job. I still don't have a job. But yet, my God has been financially good to me. And I thank God for that. It's because I keep my faith in God. It's because I serve God. And I pay them above everything and everyone in my life. Like you should. Jesus Christ loves you. He died for your sins. So why don't you love him first? You know, people want to love things of this world, electronics, cars, houses, even people, more than they love God. But without God, you wouldn't have those things in your life, people. This is what I want to explain to you. Um, getting ready to drop God is Gold merch. Um, we're doing sweaters first. Um, I thank God for giving me that idea. Uh, good things coming my way. Um, I got my business started up last year. Um, that's called Senior Tech. Um, I'm also going to start using money that I'm generating from the sweaters and other uh, things to put money into that business. You know, Senior Tech is helping elderly people bridging the, bridging the gap of future and past to make sure that elderly people keep up with technology and they're not far behind. You know, God's given me that idea for that and I thank God, you know. And I, I just wish you people would love God like I love him because he has so much for you. That These ideas that I'm telling you about, I didn't come with them on my own. God gave me these ideas because I told God, I want to be prosperous, God. I don't want to be broke. I come from a, a, line, a long line of broke people in my family. And that's because of mistakes that they made and not using their money wisely. And it's the truth. My mom, you know, she tried her best. She went to college. and then, But there were circumstances that happened to her. And that's the reason why, you know, her life... It was the way it was, but yet she still found Christ. That was the most important thing she could ever have. And with Christ, she made it. And she was able to teach me about Christ, and that's why I'm still here today. 28 years old, 29 years old, my bad. I will be 30 this year, September 10th. And I thank God for what he's doing in that. Um, today's video, I want to talk about some of the things that are currently going down on Instagram. You know, ever since this whole COVID-19 started, it's been crazy, you know? I know everyone's uh, tripping out. Sorry about that, my cameraman, I'ma saw a beat or something, y'all. That's why the camera kind of twitched on him. You all right, John Keir, back there? Yeah, okay. Um, but like I said, I wanna talk about uh, some things that's going on on Instagram, and these things have been happening, but now, ever since COVID-19 started, I feel like it's, it's been happening at a higher rate, you know? I feel like people are posting more uh, pornos, sexual immorality like the Bible talks about. And I want to talk about that because there's no way a 15-year-old girl should be on Instagram selling her body parts. There's no way a 15-year-old boy should be on Instagram talking about cash at me, I'll send you explicit photos. No way. But no, same thing happened on Snapchat. You have private snaps now. No one wants to speak about these things. If you're an adult, you're an adult. But I'm talking about young children right now. Where are their parents to tell them that they should not be selling their bodies? First of all, the Bible tells us we don't belong to ourselves. So all you people out there that are selling your bodies, I'm, I'm laughing at you. And the devil laughing at you too because you don't belong to yourself. You belong to God. And you have a soul in your body and it shall be accounted for when you die. It doesn't matter if you're young or old. Child, an adult, or an elderly person. We all have a soul and we die, it's going somewhere. It's either going to heaven or it's going to hell. And the choice is yours. But too many people are here making sad mistakes, dumb mistakes. You don't need to. What's the point of doing all these things for a little bit of cash and money? I don't care about money. I don't care about materialistic things. Look what God is blessing with. A BMW. It's used with low miles. But I thank God for it. It's not brand, brand new. But I thank God for blessing me with it. I've already had many cars. It's my first true luxury car. I had an Acura before this. And I thank God for it, but I don't care about that car. I don't care about money. All I care about is you people knowing who my God is in the name of Jesus Christ. All I care about is you people knowing about the power of God they left for you, the Holy Spirit. You want the power of God? You have to die to your flesh. This right here, 
This nigga right here, it got to die. Yes. Someone said that in my church, one of our, uh, the bishop's father used to say it. This nigga right here, this means that skin, this flesh, it got to die. You got to die to your flesh, got to die to your wants. If you want the power of God to work in your life, people, because God loves you. He already given, he gives us strength every day to get up every day. You think you're waking yourself up every day? No. He breathes breath into us to get up every day. He gives us strength to get up every single day, to do what we need to do, take care of our families, go to work. It's God that gives us that strength, people. That don't come from our own. But too many people are confused by the devil and they like the things of the world. They're not going to work with Christ. You got to die to the world, die to the things of the world, and die to your flesh and allow God to move through you, speak to you like I'm speaking through you right now. It's the Spirit of God speaking through me to you people because I can't do nothing. Jesus Christ loves you, and I pray for you people every day. My nephew will tell you, I will pray sometimes at the middle of the night. He'll be like, oh, my, my uncle's praying. Either he'll pray with me, or he'll be quiet because he's giving reverence to God. I don't cease to pray for you people at all because I love you people. I can't do nothing without God. You can't do nothing without God. And this whole coronavirus mess, God is setting us up for a greater blessing. We're talking about the people of God. If you believe in Jesus Christ, do not be fearful. What the devil trying to do with this whole coronavirus, he's trying to build in fear so he can bring in his ultimate goal of a one world government but that's happening later on in life the bible talks about that so what this whole thing is to bring fear i don't have fear i'm not scared of no coronavirus i'm not scared of no aids i'm not scared of no disease because my body my bible tells me that god's given us power over all devils over all serpents over all diseases of all matter diseases the bible says that if you believe the bible it will work for you but two people they want to believe other things they want to believe what's the popping thing on instagram they want to believe what's the popping thing on twitter they want to believe what's the popping thing on google no I want to know what the word says. And I, if the word says it, I believe it because the word is truth in life and it works for me. You can't tell me because it does. And it will work for you when you believe it for yourself. So that's today's video. It wasn't going to be long. Uh, I will be dropping more videos. And I thank God for the help that he's given me. Um, just know that God loves you people. Jesus Christ, the one true living God, he died for your sins to give you a hope of eternal life in heaven. No matter what you've done on earth, there's nothing that you've done that's not God from loving you. That's the devil that places doubt in their mind. That's the devil that tells us that God doesn't love us. Because we go sin, because we want to go fulfill the lust of this flesh. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about even to save people. The devil tries to trick us the, the most because he knows we already have the victory. He don't care about nobody that doesn't believe in Jesus Christ because he's already done the work in their life. But I'm trying to warn you people because God loves you. Give your life to Christ today. If you don't know who Jesus Christ is, Find out. Go to a Bible preaching believing church. You go find out who Jesus Christ is. You pick God to the test with your heart and your mind. God will give you revelation. But you have to be seeking him with a pure heart and mind. And then God will begin to speak to you for yourself concerning your own life. Have a blessed day, everyone, in Jesus' holy name.